there's three types of marketers. Not one is better than the other, not one is smarter or dumber than the other. And I think they all have good intentions, but they all, everybody has like different DNA and different experiences that shape how they think. And I think it results in these three different kinds of marketers. And it's from this lens and from their own experiences that they now give their advice. So the three types of marketers are, first of all, there's the artist. For those of you who might know, Seth Godin is this like marketing, he's a marketing guru. Okay. <laughs> He's, he's this person who has always given really thoughtful, big picture views on how marketing is supposed to work. And the way he does this is he inspires you to think about the art of marketing. You have to create a purple cow. It's like, you have to make something unique. You have something that outlives you that is going to be part of your legacy. That's almost how he thinks about it, inspire people. And so whenever you read a book or a blog post or listen to someone on a podcast, it's always this angle of inspire people and build emotion. You have to put them in their tribe. And it's correct. It's absolutely correct if you view it from the artist's lens. However, there's also marketers who are just as successful, and I would call them the soldier type, which is whenever you hear advice that, oh, marketing is not rocket science. It's just a bunch of numbers. If you're going to do a bunch of SEO, then it's about keyword research. It's about quantifying the impact and spreadsheets and Google analytics. So it's very methodical and it's very like a process driven. Do this, then that, just like a soldier would, like in the military, right? It's very process. You can rise through the ranks this way. And again, there's a lot of blog posts and marketing posts about this best practices, but you just have to know you're listening to somebody who subscribes to this worldview. And then lastly, I would say there's something called the gambler, which is somebody who doesn't think at all like an artist and doesn't think at all like a soldier. They would never say, oh, this is stupid. That they, they would say something like, this is stupid. You should not think about art or you should not think about the process. Marketing is really just like a VC game. It's like, it's a power law. It's an exponential model where you just need one win and you erase nine bad tries. So you should just try a bunch of stuff. And so this person is going to say, hey, you should be growth hacking. You should be doing a lot of experiments. You should be doing all sorts of things that allow you to get referral programs and all that kind of stuff. And again, not, not wrong based on the artist or the soldier, just a different way of thinking. And so as a marketer, you can use this framework to prevent yourself from getting too confused about all the, the best practices and all the advice out there. Are you listening to somebody who's an artist? Because you can predictably expect them to talk about things in a certain way. Is it a soldier who's somebody who's going to say, you should be methodical? Or are you listening to somebody who's a gambler? And if you look at their background, you can tell what kind of projects they've done. And they're going to be advocating for things that are maybe a bit of gray hat, maybe some black hat, and maybe things that are doing things at, at scale where you can run a lot of experiments. So you just have to know which one is most appropriate for your situation. Take a best guess around which one is going to be most relevant to the problems that you're facing. And then that allows you to bucket which advice to listen to at which time.